Time now for your forewarn weather with Canon Seacrest. Okay, Canon Seacrest standing by taking a look at our very hot forecast for Utah for this Father's Day weekend. Hi, Canon. Yeah, the weather down here in southern Utah, although the, the sun has uh, disappeared, we are still seeing some pretty warm temperatures down here at the Black Desert Sky Cam. We've got the night vision mode on right now. We see some cars kind of coming across, some bugs flying around as well out there. Just a nice, uh, nice night here out on the Black Desert Golf Course. Utah Lake also looking very nice. We took a look at the camera a little bit earlier. We saw some boats still out there, but uh, as of right now, it looks like everything's kind of stopped and people have decided to to go home. High temperatures since midnight, 85 up in Logan, 89 in Salt Lake City, Provo, 90, 91 in Delta and Price, 95 in Milford, and then 104 down there in St. George. Satellite radar shows some of those showers coming in through the eastern portion of the state and some cloud coverage through the north, but for the most part, the rest of the state staying fairly dry. Price, Vernal, and Moab all seeing a few just sprinkled showers throughout uh, earlier tonight. Uh, and into the temperatures right now, 63 degrees up in Logan, 75 in Salt Lake, 77 in Provo and Delta, as well as Milford. And then still, like I said, temperatures still fairly warm down here in St. George, 91 degrees, and then 93 in Lake Powell. The Metro cast for St. George, 11 p.m., gonna be about 87 degrees still with those clear skies throughout the night. 4 a.m., 76 degrees. Temperatures do drop off just a little bit, sticking with those clear skies, however. And then tomorrow, 9 a.m., those temperatures start to kick back up, about 80 degrees with those clear skies. And then those temperatures are gonna be rising even more as the day moves on. We also have some fire alerts going on right now with that red flag warning kind of sweeping through southern and central Utah. Those are gonna be in effect, in effect and, and at the beginning of tomorrow, right around noon, and they're gonna stay in effect until Monday. Those winds gonna be coming in at 15 to 25 mile per hour, gusts up to 35 to 45 miles per hour, and that can really spark, when those flames start to spark, those winds can really carry those fires away. Future cast shows some of the cloud coverage up through the northwestern portion of the state, up near Park Valley and Wendover. However, not a whole lot of precipitation, some isolated showers up near Park Valley on Sunday morning. As that continues to kind of sweep through the state, we start to see a couple few clouds popping up, but for the most part, staying pretty dry, pretty clear conditions until Monday uh, around 11 p.m. We start to see some of those isolated showers through Park Valley and Logan area, even maybe a little bit of snow up in those higher elevation areas near Logan. That's going to start to kind of clear out again. And then Tuesday still those early mornings on Tuesday, Southern Utah stays very nice. Uh, not a whole lot of cloud coverage, but Northern Utah does see some clouds. Tonight's forecast shows 50 degrees up in Logan, Salt Lake 57, 56 in Provo, and 69 down here in St. George. Some cloud coverage through the Northern portion of the state. Southern portion stays pretty cloud free up until tomorrow. Cedar at 87 degrees, 101 in St. George, really warm down here. Lake Powell 96 and then Salt Lake 82, 87 in Provo, 78 in Logan. So the temperatures have cooled off just a little bit up there in the northern portion for Father's Day weekend. Logan's gonna be feeling really nice there if you're gonna be grilling outside. It's gonna be a great day to, to man that grill. 78 degrees, 76 in Park City and in St. George. If you're out there, uh, put some sunscreen on, find some shade because it is a little bit warmer down there. Wasatch Front. Temperatures do drop off a little bit into next week, but then they pick right back up, back up into those mid 90s. And then St. George, we have triple digits throughout most of the next seven days. Our low is gonna be about 94, but our high is gonna be about 107 to 108 come Friday and Saturday. Emily.